chloroplast transformation so most of the transformation it is based that how nuclear dna it can be uh, transformed and foreign dna how it can integrate there so uh, mainly uh, it is targeting the nucleus but in case of uh, chloroplast the recently focused has been uh, shifted to transform this organelles as well with reference to chloroplast uh, you may have the idea that uh, they are very important in the process of photosynthesis that plants use a chlorophyll that is contained within the plastids to synthesize energy in the form of atp or nadph that is for the use for the fixation of carbon dioxide to produce organic compounds so this is the main function of the chloroplast and when we take into account the number of chloroplasts per cell it may be uh, variable like in case of uh, unicellular microorganisms like chlamydomonas uh, which is a type of algae it contain only uh, one large chloroplast but in most of the plant cells like in case of a model plant arabidopsis here the number of cells it may be number of chloroplast it may be up to 1000 to hum ye keh sakte hain ki chloroplast ka jo number hai plant cells ke andar ye bahut zyada hota hai agar isme hum uh, transformation karwaye to isme jo gene expression ka level hai agar agar hum isko compare kare nuclear dna se to is to ye uh, up to 50% jo hai wo higher ho sakta hai uh, because chloroplast it has its own gen genomic material and foreign genes can be integrated there and we can get high expression as i told you that maybe up to 50% more as compared to the nuclear genome integration the reason is that here the problem that uh, in which orientation it is uh, going to integrate that is frame shift it is not going to uh, impact more or less or uh, uh, in some other instances uh, another advantage is that uh, there is natural containment of the foreign dna containment ka matlab ye hai ke kyunki ye chloroplast hai to ye germ cell lines mein is tarah ka jo dna hai wo transfer nahi hota germ lines वो सेल्स होते हैं जिससे जो डीएनए अगर एक दफा इंटीग्रेट हो जाए तो वो डॉटर सेल्स या प्रोजनी में चला जाता है तो उससे जो नए प्लांट्स बनते हैं तो जो फॉरेन डीएनए है वो दूसरे प्लांट्स को भी जाके कंटेमिनेट कर सकता है अगर वो एक्सपेरिमेंटल लेवल पे है तो इस तरह से अगर हम क्लोरोप्लास्ट को ट्रांसफॉर्म करवा रहे हैं तो इसमें एक तो एडवांटेज है कि नेचुरल कंटेनमेंट हो जाती है या इसमें जो स्प्लाइसिंग रिक्वायर्ड होती है न्यूक्लियर जीनोम में उसकी एज सच जरूरत नहीं रहती सो दीज आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन नाउ व्हाट स्ट्रेटजीज कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर क्लोरोप्लास्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो सम पीपल हैव रिपोर्टेड दैट सिस्टम्स बेस्ड ऑन एग्रोबैक्टीरियम ट्यूमिफेशियंस इट कैन बी यूज्ड बिकॉज़ इनिशियली व्हेन Uh, plant cells they were incubated with the suspension of agrobacterium then some genes were transferred into the chloroplast it may be by chance and then people started to transform chloroplast directly and here the first cell that has been transformed that is chloroplast uh, it belongs to algae that is Uh, chlamydomonas uh, and hopefully from your fsc course or metro course you are well aware from this green algae uh, and its chloroplast is it is comparatively large single part cell occupying most of the area of the cell so this chloroplast was used for transformation purpose after that uh, in addition to agrobacterium some other techniques like uh, uh, electroporation has also been used and even polyethylene glycol 
mediated transformation of chloroplast it has also been uh, reported and some uh, genes have been used as selectable marker as well and it may be called as AAD that encode uh, enzymes that can be detected as a selectable marker.